Hey everybody, it's Eric from Midas. Welcome to Music Studios. You know, there are times in mixing when it's necessary to group multiple channels together to either pre-mix with EQ and dynamics and or add an effect or a combination of those. Now subgroups are great for that, plus they're really easy to set up on the M32. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's just say I finished checking levels during my sound check and all my channels are up and ready. Now could be a good time to set up some subgroups. Press the setup button and under the config tab, you have some pre-bus configurations here that might suit your knees right away, but you can go ahead and design it however you need to. If you want, just select a channel, go to the home tab, and under the sends tab here, with these encoders, you can go ahead and switch your mix buses however you need. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and choose 484 here at the bottom, 484. And what that means is that the first four mix buses are post-channel EQ and pre-fader, which is great for sending signals to wedges on stage. The next eight are set up for subgroups for pre-mixing single or multiple channels. The last four mix buses are set at post-fader, perfect for sending signals to my effects in my rack. Okay, let's set up the subgroup. Let's go ahead and press buses one through eight, and I'm gonna go ahead and select bus five because the first four are being used to send signals to my wedges on stage. Next, I'm gonna hit the home button. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and select the link option. There we go. Now they are linked. Now, I wanna do this because I want it to be a stereo subgroup for all my drums. Okay, next, I'm gonna go ahead and select sends on fader. Now press the mute button under each channel you want going into subgroups five and six. Now I have signal into five and six here. Now go ahead and deselect sends on fader. Now what I wanna do is go back to those same channels and one by one deselect them out of the master left right bus. Cause I'm not looking to double bus right now although that would be cool for doing something like parallel compression and some other cool tricks. Cool, now I have a stereo subgroup for all my drums. I can now activate the compressor or engage my six band fully parametric EQ in the channel strip and even insert an effect to cover all my drum channels as a whole. Hope this video helped out. For more information and media, go to MidasConsoles.com. I'm Eric, and thanks for stopping by Music Studios. Happy mixing, and see you next time.